Attorney Deaton, who's in favor of XRP, accuses SEC Gensler of violating various moral standards. Patrick McHenry, the chairman of the House Financial Services Committee, issued a statement in which he asserted that Jens had deceived Congress during his testimony, namely regarding the regulatory status of Ether as a security machinery. Uh, John Deaton, a well-known attorney who was in favor of XRP, directed a scathing criticism at Gary Gensler, the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission of the United States of America. Gensler was accused of weakening moral standards and creating a dishonest culture at the organization. McHenry's comments are representative of a more widespread concern on the possibility of SEC deceptions in Opus, which he asserts demonstrate a move toward regulation by enforcement. Because of Denton, Gensler's lack of sincerity is exposed. I would like to respectfully request that subpoenas be issued to Gary Gensler and the Securities and uh, Exchange Commission on his questionable regulatory tactics. Through a remark on X, Deton brought attention to the fact that he is an amicus brief in the litigation against Coinbase. Uh, the amicus brief that I submitted in the Coinbase dispute is something that I enthusiastically suggest that everyone read. It is demonstrated in the brief that Gensler is a regulator who is behaving in bad faith, which hurts the reputation of the entire agency. Uh, additionally, Dion has recommended several books that should be studied. Uh, the XRP law seeks conducted a comprehensive investigation of SEC's response to Rip's plea to dismiss the charges against Gensler, and the AMA's brief provides a detailed assessment of the investigation. It gives the impression that the Securities and Exchange Commission often puts openness and innovation in jeopardy to exert influence over judicial rulings in favor of its own goals. Dion provides more examples of instances in which federal judges have expressed their disapproval of the Securities and Exchange Commission's win at all, cost policy, we present the commission in a negative light, and as a result, we become a less effective regulator. In a lawsuit filed in connection with XRP, Judge Nepburn made the statement citing the agency strategies as an example. A less effective regulatory and additional step is taken by the brief, which cites statements made by the commissioner of the state of Connecticut, Hester Pierce, uh, in which she expressly criticizes the regulatory strategy of her agency. One other illustration of the Securities and Exchange Commission adopting its litigation stances to promote its ultimate aim, rather than out of loyal allegiance to the law, is the approach of protecting the court from incontrovertible truths. This method is a win at any cost strategy. Pierce saw that after inviting someone in to speak with us, we would force them to go through a process that was difficult, drawn out, and confusing, even though we had invited them in. It is the procedure for regulations. It was the founder whose background was given in court documents who said that the CC's goal was to bankrupt us through the process that they had privately threatened three years earlier and that they were successful in accomplishing this goal. It is the brief written by Deaton that provides the basis for this claim. This brief underlines the financial and legal repercussions that the conduct of the SEC could have. XRP lawyer are in support of uh, brief amicus brief that was presented to the ESCC Gensler's previous comments is likewise subjected to critical analysis in the synopsis. Dean contends that these assertions are incongruous and suggest that Gensler was malicious before joining the SEC. However, in his capacity as chairman, Jen stated in remarks made on August 3, 2021 at the Aspen Security Forum that the rules about digital assets are well established and that the test to determine whether an asset is a security is clear. Jen's expressed concerns regarding the ambiguity of the laws that regulate the markets for digital assets. As a result, Jens expressed his concerns. The focus of Dedden's critique is on these inconsistencies, which point to uh, pattern and behavior at the Securities and Exchange Commission in which the agency prioritizes regulatory goals over factual considerations. Uh, warning is issued in this brief issue stating that actions of this nature not only weaken the credibility of the SEC, but also have serious ramifications for the regulation of digital assets in the United States. As time goes on, the legal community for XRP provides their reactions. Miri has been subjected to criticism from other XRP lawyers in the community because he made comments in the retired that were completely unnecessary. Cut on. You are aware as a lawyer that Mekki's claim is untrue. Gig did not make any false statements at the hearing and the SEC has not reached a legal conclusion about ETW Mark Fagel. The council representing security stated you can detest and disagree with the man, but be forthright about it. They will continue to put pressure on Gary Gensler to explain the excessive regulatory actions that have been taken made public initially. Uh, how have you been able to hold equipment accountable for its actions? Your person who came up with the idea of 
hold law, Fred Rispoli, was interested in learning that research has been ongoing because it is necessary for facilitating the smooth transfer of money across international borders. The collaboration between Bitstamp and Ripple for international financial transactions has resulted in a growth in the prominence of XRP transactions. Earlier whale trading data contradicts the current findings. The decline in the value of Binance store an incredible 23.3 million XRP, which is equivalent to roughly 11 million, was acquired by a whale. This increase is indicative of the fact that traders are getting more bullish about XRP, particularly because they are postponing taking significant steps in the Ripple case. Additionally, whale purchased 21 million XRP from Binance, which is equivalent to a value of $10 million. It is clear that traders have a favorable attitude about XRP and that they have hope for the future of cryptocurrencies as seen by this accumulation. The possibility of legal action could cause a delay in the settlement that the SEC and Ripple intended to reach. Because during this week, the Ripple View UK has garnered a great deal of interest. Many individuals are curious about the possibility of a settlement and are concerned about the potential impact that it could have on the XRP currency. In the next few days, uh, let's begin by analyzing the challenges what the Securities and Exchange Commission will face in its efforts to obtain an injunction to prevent ELO from being sold. The company's decision to contest programmatic sales will be impacted by these constraints, which will affect demand liquidity. With the help of appeals and injunctions, the Securities and Exchange Commission may attempt to drag out the procedures. As stated by Attorney Bill Morgan, the key barriers that have come from these acts on both sides and hindered him from reaching a settlement uh, have been detailed by Bill Morgan. These obstacles have the potential to give birth to problems that could lead to a drawn out legal struggle that due to the fact that it is pursuing in order to stop the selling of pharmaceuticals online through automated appeals. The Securities and Exchange Commission poses a bigger risk than other organizations. If the CC is successful in putting a stop to these sales, there is a possibility that disruptions may occur that will have an impact on Ripple's operations in the XRP market, particularly RP op operations. However, many who support XRP predict that its value will improve after the settlement with Morgan, which had a final valuation of 511 XRP and was aiming for a post settlement valuation of $1, but has lost 4.48 of its value trade volume increased by 7, 995 USD or 94 cents per million in a single day, which is a gain of 332. Despite this, its value has dropped by around seven, even in the past week, bringing the monthly reduction to nearly 20. The trend in x-ray prices is indicated by the current volatility and lower, making it difficult to determine what the next legal step will be from this. Moreover, Ripple's motion to strike is due on April 29th, and the Securities and Exchange Commission is getting ready to submit its opposition brief to that brief by May 6th. Lower both of these deadlines are extremely close together. Ripple is contending that the claims are exaggerated and that there is little evidence to support them. Even though the verdict is unlikely to change the existing state of disarray, Ripple is making this argument. Ripple is being sued by the Securities and Exchange Commission for a total of $2 billion in various penalties and injunctions. Nonetheless, these records are extremely important to the result of the lawsuit. 